hello guys today in this video i will show you how we can create your function using visual studio code so here i have opened visual studio code and to start i will go here and i will search for azure and here we have azure tools so just install this azure tool and it will install all its extension packs so you can see here we have azure app services static web apps azure function azure storage your database virtual machine container apps and developer cli so these are the like extension tools in azure so it will be installed automatically once you install the azure tool so i have already installed it so you can see here i am not having option to install so i can see only an install option okay so now after that i will go here so you will see like this icon after installation so i will click on here azure and to start creating uh, azure function you can also like login into azure if you want but you can also create a azure function without login into azure and you can log in later after creating the application so i will go here in the workspace at the bottom you can see it is workspace and i will click on this icon which is azure function so i once i click it will give me option to create new project create function so deploy function and everything so i will click on this create function so basically it will ask me to create a i mean allow me to create a function so i will create a new folder for that and i will name it as a test function and i will now click on select and now it will ask which language you want to use to create azure function so i will use c sharp here so you you can also use any language you can see here in the option like typescript javascript python java powershell or any custom handler you can create okay you can also take reference from any sample projects so i will click on here c sharp so i have selected the language and now it will ask me to select for any runtime because i have choose i have i have choose the c sharp and here i will select the latest one dotnet 8.0 because i have installed it so if you are not having dotnet 8 in your system then you will see any other options okay and if you want to go with latest version then i will recommend you to install dotnet 8 first and then uh, go ahead and create a your function so i'll click here dotnet 8 and now it will ask me the template okay so i can also like skip it if i want to start from the scratch or with an empty function okay so for now uh, just for like a quick uh, we can say understanding the default one i mean it, there is no default one you can use any one but yeah, i will choose here http trigger to accept the http request from the postman or any any server basically any like any client so i will click on here http trigger and here it is asking me to provide the name of the your function so i will name it like uh, http uh, like azure function triggers you can name it anything whatever you want i will click on enter now and now it is asking me to provide the name space for this function so i will keep it like same azure that dot function oh sorry component dot function and here it is asking me to access rights okay so we have here three access right like function level access anonymous or admin so function level is basically when we will deploy this function then it will automatically generate a function key okay so it will be accessible only through that function key by passing that function key in the api header okay request header okay if i will choose anonymous then it will not ask anything in the header it will allow me to create or access the function okay and if i will choose admin then it will have some admin level security so let's no, not go with that for now i so for now i will choose function okay so i will select here and now it is asking whether i want to open this project in the current window or new window or i want to add into the 
like uh, the same workspace so i will do for now i will open it in the current window okay now you can see at the bottom it is creating the new project for zero function okay now it is using the http trigger template and you can see here it has created azure function with the default code you can see okay so these are the default return code and you can see this is an namespace it has provided it has already added a logger by default it has used here constructor okay and it is the function name okay and here this one is the like normal response and let me make it bigger okay so yeah this is the default code what is written as your uh, http trigger function okay so now let's see the other things here like this is the setting where we can pass the connection string or any other uh, settings related to infrastructure here is the program.cs this is basically the entry point or we can say entry file to access this project so here we have this host builder inside host builder we are configuring the function app, uh, application and inside that we have here configured ser the services here okay so uh, i mean if you want moving forward if you want to like implement swagger then you can also implement it from here as well okay and this is the cs project file so here we can see the listed package references and frameworks so here you can see in the target framework we we have here dotnet 8.0 we have azure function version which is version 4 we have output type as exe okay we have implicit usings here we have the label enabled okay these are the property groups now in item groups we have the references okay also we have host.json as a output directory okay and this is the local settings.json file is the uh, basically the setting where we can keep our connection string and other settings okay so let's see this is the default created git ignore files and this is the hosting.host.json file which will help me to host our application okay so this is the main program file now we can say the function your function okay so this is the vs code where we are having our vs code configurations like launch and extension settings everything here is here so this is basically created by default by visual studio code okay this is its output file this is object file this object is basically related to debug configurations okay now let's run this project so how we can run it so to run this i will just go here in this debug icon run and debug i will click on here and here you can see it is taking automatically as uh, attached to dot net function debugger okay so i will just click on this green button green play button to start the function okay and let it run okay and meanwhile i will also start here postman so i have my postman opened here so this is the new request so i will get my url here so this is the url you can see localhost 7071 api and this is the function name so i'll copy this and i'll put it here in the get type of url and here i will not require any header because uh, this is local so it will not re not require any header to pass here okay so now what i will do i will put a breakpoint here at line number 19 and here i will click on send button and you can see it has come here in the uh in the basically in the azure function okay and it is currently accepting two type of request get as well as post 
so i will just click on continue here and you can see i got the response welcome to azure function okay which is coming from here okay the same api can be called as post as well so i will click on here and click on post i will click on any but uh, we are not going to do anything with the data but yeah just for the testing purpose i will put here uh, but uh, we are not going to do anything test data okay i will click on send here and you can see again it is coming by the post method as well okay and i will click on continue here so you can see here log is also coming here the same log what is here at line number 20 in the console and we can see here the response so here yeah, as we are not using currently the response but yeah, still we can see the uh i mean I, we are not currently using this post data but here yeah, we can see the response okay so uh, i hope you got the idea how you can start creating the azure function with the without having any you can say having any azure account you can start for, uh, just for learning purpose from your local but uh, if you want to publish it then you can uh, log in into the i mean into the azure here first let me stop this to publish it you can go here into the azure and you can here uh, get the sign into azure or create if you don't have any account then you can also create the account in azure and from there you will get the uh, basically the resources and to publish it you can basically like uh, publish like uh, you can publish it by clicking on this azure function and you have this deploy through function app okay so you can you can see it once i clicked on that it is asking me to sign into azure to, to start the deployment process okay and so i hope you got the idea so yeah that is all guys in this video thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel